All right, I want to share this with you guys. Uh, most of my process of making videos is pretty simple. I take my GoPro or whatever camera I happen to have at the time, and I take my SD card. And I was excited that the new MacBooks uh, now have uh, SD card readers, uh, which is supposed to be uh, UHS-2 speeds, which is up to like 300 megabytes a second or whatever. So I upgraded my SD card uh, to a UHS type 2 unit and uh i've i ran i had to buy the uh, sd adapter to to convert the uh, micro sd to a full size sd uh, and that had to be compatible as well with the uh the faster speeds uh, so i i bought like a five pack of these things on amazon uh, which worked well and uh so i thought we pretty much got our speeds that we we uh are expecting. I run a disk speed test and uh, oh, that would be the inboard drive. Let me change that. We're going to uh, select the my uh, SD card right here and it's going to show like about I think it's about 130 megabytes of, re, uh, of write and it's going to show about 240 megabytes a second on the read side and I'll show you there you go, there's your specs. Okay, so keep those numbers in mind. We've got about 133 and 200 and whatever, okay? Doesn't really matter, it doesn't have to be exact, but that gets you in the ballpark of what we're expecting, okay? So you can see that 238, 237, then it goes back down. All right, so uh, what I also have is one of these uh, card readers that was plugging into the USB uh, or the Thunderbolt uh, connector and uh, I thought I would just eliminate this now and not have to carry that and I could just use this little adapter here uh, instead and I didn't eject that properly My computers yelling at me so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take that very same try to do this with the camera here take that very same SD card okay which I got right here and I'm gonna put it into this card reader Okay, put that right there, and that's just plugged into the side. And we're going to run that same disk speed test. Okay. Select that drive, open it up, and we're going to run the test, and we're going to get similar speeds. 127, whatever, and this will be somewhere around 240, 237, I think was the max there you go, 220, whatever. Pretty much the same numbers, right? So one would think, okay, it doesn't matter whether I use this unit or if I use the card reader that's built in. Wrong. This is what I just found out. So what I'm going to do is, let's go ahead and eject this drive properly. Okay. Take the card out. Put it back into our card reader here. And what I'm going to do is copy, copy the first three files that are uh, uh, what are they? Uh, clips from uh, my DJI camera. So. I'm going to copy this DGI uh, 15, DGI 11, and DGI 6 to give you an example. So I'm just going to select those three, okay? Hopefully that's coming out on the camera. But uh, it's a total of 12.28, I think, uh, gigabytes. And I'm just going to grab it and drop it on the desktop. And I'm going to time it at the same time. Let go. One, two, three, go. Oh. I already did this test. Let me delete these ones. There we go. Empty the trash so we know that it's not still in memory. It's gone. Okay. Let me go back. I'm going to take these three. Okay, we got the three. Oh, for crying out loud. I'm trying to do this with two hands. Yeah, we'll do it this way. Take those three, 
copy, click on the desktop, and we're going to do paste three items, okay? One, two, three, hopefully you're in frame here. One, two, three, go. All right, so let's watch this camera. And as you can see, it says 12.28 gigabytes. Copying three items seems to be moving at a pretty good clip. But what I noticed is for whatever reason, it seems to stall. It just stalled right there. I don't know if it's in between files that it stalls or what it is. Uh, but I did this test three or four different times, plugged in, not plugged in. It didn't matter. Uh, full battery or, or whatever, because I did it with a fairly low battery at first and then fully charged. Didn't matter what I did. Um, I was continuously getting about uh, one minute and 40 seconds um, from start to finish to transfer this 12.28 gigabytes from the SD card to the desktop. And uh, once this test finished, so I'm going to do the same test with the card reader that I have, you know, the externally plugged in one over here, and I'm going to show you the results there. Because this is a uh, common occurrence that I do quite often. You know, anytime you're taking footage from one of your cameras, you stick the card on the computer, and then you, uh, a lot of times, you transfer it onto, uh, you know, an SSD, a scratch drive, or whatever. Um, and either way, it's only going to read so fast. So, boom, stop. That was actually 1 minute and 16 seconds. That was actually pretty good. Every other time I did this, I got about a minute and 40 seconds. Uh, this is the first time I've got it that fast. So, all right, what I'm going to do... Gonna delete these. Why do I keep opening these? Just drag and drop with the uh, one finger is hard to do here. So trash, empty our trash. I'm gonna eject the drive properly. All right, so we got one minute and 16 seconds. We're gonna reset that. I'm gonna pull the card out. Same card. Drop it in our card reader over here. She pops up, open it up. Okay, I'm going to uh, arrange by size. Then we got our same three items, DGI 15, 11, and 6. I'm going to select those three. Copy. Click on the desktop, right click, and then I'm going to paste and start at the same time here. You ready? One, two, three, go. Gonna probably fast forward this, but you'll see uh, how much quicker this was. Actually, this would be the one that I don't need to fast forward because it's quicker. So, pretty much, it seems to move at the same speed, but it doesn't seem to have that stall in between uh, video files. It just continues to to keep on moving. Uh, and you'll see the end result. I believe it was, uh, I think, 50 seconds or 40 seconds that I was getting continuously. About half the speed, or, or double the speed, half the time. Every single time I use the card reader instead of the internal card reader. Yeah, 50 seconds is where it's going to stop. Watch. A little bit longer this time. Okay, 52 seconds. Okay. So, the numbers did vary a little bit on that test. Uh, from all my other times, but continuously every time that I've done this, uh, pretty much for whatever reason, because it seems to stall in between files uh, with the you know with just the regular card reader that's built in as opposed to this external unit. So uh, this one here, <clears throat> let me pull it out and show you. Uh, trying to eject this here. Oh, not share. Wait a minute. Having a problem with my touchpad today. Okay, eject. This, uh, this card reader here is from Anchor. I actually uh, just bought this. I lost my first one, and this one just came in the mail today, which made me try this. Uh, I think it was $29.99 uh, on Amazon, and I think it comes to you in one day. I think it's like uh, next day shipping. I guess it depends on where you live, but, but it's got the slot for your uh, full-size SD or the micro SD. So either way, you know, when I'm traveling with my SD my mini SD or micro SD card, I need to have something to convert it to put it into the computer. I either need this or I need this. Granted, this is bigger, but speed wise, uh, you know, and I haven't done enough tests where, you know, multiple files, maybe if I did 10 different files, maybe that uh, pause in between files is even longer 
uh, and you know it actually makes it even worse results. So I don't know, but something to keep in mind because I didn't know for the longest time. Um, I just ran the disk speed test, and it seemed that no matter what, if I use this or if I use this, I was getting the same speeds, which I am. But for whatever reason, there's these pauses in between the transfer when you're using the uh, internal card reader on the uh, MacBook Pro. So this is the latest MacBook Pro with the uh, M1 Max, uh, 32 gigabytes. Um, you know, so I don't know uh, what, you know, here's my, my specs there. I don't know what, what different model Macs, uh, you know, readers are going to do that. I'm assuming all of the 14 and 16 inch uh, that since they came back with that uh, card reader are going to be that way. So uh, you might want to take a look at yours and time how, how long it actually takes you to transfer files because it seemed to me like it, I wasn't getting the speeds that I thought I should be uh, having the faster card. And this does add up. I'll, I'll be sitting there a lot of times importing uh, into uh, Final Cut Pro. What I usually do is just import right from the card to Final Cut Pro. And I was just noticing it was taking a long time to populate each video uh, when it shouldn't have been. And when I used this, it was, like I said, double as fast. So... Just want to let you guys know about this. Uh, maybe it'll save you some time. And uh, if you do the same thing and use the same type of uh, computer and, uh, you know, camera setup. Uh, I wish I had full-size SD cards, but I use either a GoPro or I've been using this uh, DJI uh, Osmo Pocket 2 or whatever lately, uh, which I'm trying out right now. I don't know if I'm going to keep it or not, but so far uh, it seems to be pretty cool. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a good one.